Trini. Hello, darling. What are we doing today on Closet Confessions? Something so requested, which is jeans. Jeans, I think, can make us feel we're in the zone of cool, and they can make us feel, can we get away with that still? And they can make us feel, are we being unfashionable because ever, has everyone moved on and we're sticking to a certain type of jean, like the skinny jean? Mm. You can get amazing jeans that aren't expensive. And do you buy your jeans to last? I buy my jeans thinking they'll be in my life for as long as I feel that style suits me. I think I'm in my zone now where there are four different styles of jeans that I am really comfortable with. So where are your jeans from that you're wearing now? So these are my favorite shaped jean and I have these actually not too dissimilar from Zara in black but I'm showing you these as a pair from Paige. I would never pay more than 250 quid for a designer jeans but I think of cost per wear and I think if I wear a jean for five years and I wear it two or three times a week that's a good investment. Yeah, and yeah. the light wash, you're wearing those now. The colour of jean, I mean, I could have like, we could do an electron jean, right? I like all this colour, all dark denim, all that lovely mid denim classic jean colour. I also love a crop. Where the crop is, is important as to where the rise is. If you have a lower rise jean and a very high crop trouser, your legs will look shorter. So whenever I go for an ankle crop, generally my jeans will fit me to the waist because it gives enough distance for the fabric to go on my legs, so my legs will look longer even if I'm in a flat shoe, because I have okay. a shorter leg, mm -hmm. longer body. Do you remember? That means that crutch to ankle is the same distance as crutch to my shoulder. Got it. Where your top ends is important, and what I like about this, which is Joey, Joey the, the label. label, Joey the Label, Australian <laughs> brand, is that it's slightly graded, so it looks like I'm layering. Yes. And this is the kind of thing with another jean like this, I would do a longer bit and then a shorter bit up top, so you still see your waistline, yeah you do you know and if this was all one block it might make me feel that you know you didn't see any definition till here and i look like i'm short-legged i mean this is just jeans and a top but it does look really purposeful yes and it looks like something you could wear and scale up so if i had this on i could just put a little coat over that has structure smarten it up because i've got the tailoring of the coat and jeans love tailored coats because if you wear the same jeans every day throwing you, that on yeah it changes it immediately. Yeah, without um, changing the jeans. So without changing the jeans. Perfect. This is a way I feel most comfortable. I probably wear these more in the summer than winter. I'll only wear dark denim in the winter because then it elongates the leg. Unless the jean goes to the floor. Double denim. Let's just discuss it because there's pros and cons. And I went to put double denim together. These are both from Zara. Is it will make my body look longer? There is something that makes me think, is it just sort of like two or one jumpsuit? Yeah, it could be a jumpsuit. You know, what do we think? Because then I could add a belt. If I do that now, does that maybe give that break that the clothing, if it was a slightly different colour, would give and really give emphasis to where I want you to see where my waist is, mm. like that. Just wish the stitching on the shirt was white. That's a problem. Oh, yeah. Molly's going to become obsessive and passive. <laughs> and I, because for me, I've never worn this together. There's something for me, and I can't put my finger on it, it's fine but it's not ideal, so I'm gonna show you how I do wear it. This is one of my best investments, because this is a Chloe shirt. I bought it secondhand for 70 pounds 10 years ago. I really like the fact that there's the blue, there's a sort of grading going on of, of you know, the bib of the same color denim, but then there's this kind of going up a little bit here. And what material is it? Because it's a really clever way to do double denim, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's silk with denim. I think a wide leg makes a denim look smarter. Mm -hmm because it looks like a beautiful flare trouser out of denim. So when I look at that and you don't see, so obviously a trainer immediately underneath, it's just poking out the bottom. You don't then associate and dress it down in your mind when you look at somebody else. If you wear denim and you've got a trainer on, I can see the trainer. In my mind, I'm dressing down how smart that denim is. If like me, you wore a flare for the first time in the seventies and you think, can I do it again? Yes, you can. I think it's one of the most successful jean shape. If you are petite, the art of a good wide leg is to have it the right level at your waist, if it's too high up, you'll swallow up your upper torso. So it would be sort of what I call wasted, but slightly lower wasted. Really good thing if you're trying to get out of a rut to try this as a concept. I just want to have that softness and pinkiness of the lip because uh, when I wear black, I need to soften everything. This is Donna Ida, and I want to need two ways I'll wear this. So I could be going to work on days I wear black, which I do, um, and it would be wearing this jean with my um, heavy stack trainers because they're quite high and literally nothing else, just really clean, no jewelry. Now I'm gonna show you different options of dressing things up or down. If I want just to be cool in the office, just put that over and the length works well. 
it's trenchy, and you know I said how things should need to be structured. Yeah. The rule for me is they're either structured or you can really waste them. Because if you waste something and there's volume at the bottom of both things, the wasting and bringing it in here makes that volume work at the bottom. Yes, and you've literally just tied that. This is great for day, running around, um, and that's all I'll do with it. And I just keep my makeup fresh, a soft pink lip. Is that Dido? This is Dido, oh, sheer oh, shimmer. It's lovely with yeah, the black. It's nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Soft with the black. Yeah. God, I might actually, you know what I do need with black? You've got to make sure you have enough blusher on. And that's the key about wearing black if you're not going to wear a bright lip, because otherwise it can wash you out and that's what it would do with me. So I'm just going to put on a little bit more blusher. Now you could go more classic. Such a goodbye from Zara that I haven't worn for ages. And it's a faux fur little coat, but it's incredibly well cut. I love the way that it's subtle. And if you don't suit black, Wearing black velvet or black fur is a softer rendition of black mm. because there's more opportunity for the light to come into the fabric so your face is not totally drained. But now I'm going out for dinner. If you have a top like this and you want to do an elegant evening jacket, you have a problem with the sleeve when you put on Yeah, where does the sleeve jacket. go? There's nowhere for the sleeves. Go to a cape. And then you can think, would I then put on a pair of earrings? So I might do something um, like Katinka, oddly, because it's got the gold in it. And it's such a luscious colour. It has that rose undertone from the gold of my jewellery, but a neutralness in the brown. So I would do that. And then I might take that last little bit and amp up my eyes. I could keep my hair down or I could do like a low chignon. There, it just feels now, you know, glamorous. What I love about this is the proportion. Mm -hmm. And it's the fact that the K it could be here to do something, but I feel it's more modern that it ends here. Such a cool look when you're still wearing black jeans. Yeah, exactly. It's like nearly black tie. What's clever about these is all the hardware is up here. Mm. So if you want your legs that are really long, but you have hardware that's like two pocket studs here, your eye is drawn further down. That's and so, so true, here, yeah. it, you just feel, my God, my waist is high and my legs are long. Yeah, and the zip's hidden. And it's the zip's all hidden. There's nothing very to kind clean. of make you think, mm. Next. This is interesting. This is my jean that I've worn the most, Citizens of Humanity. I sort of feel now, I just wish they didn't do that pick there so much that they would just crop but still had room. You go through that relationship yeah. with your own jeans though, don't you? And you, you just do. need to put them away for a bit. You do. So I'm thinking, I'm going to show you how I used to style them and then how I could maybe style it differently so it doesn't feel how I used to wear it. Yeah. So I would have maybe put this coat over because as they are really cropped and that they are tight here. Yes. I'm thinking, am I better that you never see that? And you just get that sort of very narrow silhouette with a heavier shoe, which I've always quite liked. So that works. I can still do it today, but it doesn't feel like I'm moving for Jemima in my jean moment. You slowly evolve into something new. And where's so, everything from? So this is Kinder. Yeah. Aga Cheek. Um, this Lovely. is an old Marnie Blouse, Sisters of Humanity. Another route I could go is be a bit fun and do a bit of blazer. As I put this on, I should get rid of this blazer because the sleeves are so short for me and it's boxy and it just shouldn't be in my order anymore. I feel like you wear red more on your makeup when you wear denim rather than as a blazer. Absolutely bloody true. That I'm just gonna embrace and fall into that red on red moment. Classic with denim, which is lips, cheek and Rossi. A little cheek and then get the brush and blend it in. I'm going for a coat. Now I feel what I've done is I've brought that style of the oversized into something that I was thought was beginning to feel old fashioned. And so it's pulling it back from feeling that's my old fashioned jean to something that now feels more, more kind of cool. What this does is it doesn't make it easier for me to say I should just keep these jeans. Mm. And then I'm just thinking there is another thing I could do with this idea of wearing a sleeveless vest, which I think is kind of a little bit cooler. But having that something on the top that feels really cool makes the jean fine. Really you know? like this. Yeah. Yeah. It's Especially. Pretty. If you're debating keeping the gene or not, it's good to play around with the it's, other factors. Exactly, because the gene is sort of really unimportant in putting this outfit together. What's important is I've used the slightly darker orange over the slightly lighter orange. I wouldn't do it the other way around. Oddly, it's the first time I've done a red lip with orange, and I love it. I love it too. Would I you really... change the shoe? The shoe's heavy, but I'm making that just become invisible. Yeah. And the thing is, as soon as I make it prominent, it will change the outfit. So if this was a spring look and I wore it with a 
trainer, let's see how much it changes your perception of the outfit. That still works. It freshens it up. It makes it more sort of autumn, winter, spring, summer. I can do it. I think why I can do it is I'm hiding where the crotch is. Yeah. As soon as I show you where the crotch is, do you see the difference in the outfit? Yeah, and I think your eyes are drawn more down to the yeah. shoe because they're not invisible and black. Yeah. These are another option. Does that work? But weirdly, no. It's just so strange seeing you in a flat flat. I know. I'm very... This is Penelope um, Shivers, Cheevers. Yeah. I've got to figure out how to wear them because they are the most comfortable, like butter. The lesson here is the jeans feeling boring. You want to really make the jean more exciting. One of the ways of styling it up, you might work with a nice shirt tucked in. Consider a um, sleeveless jumper over. And the art of this working is that it's not fitted. Mm. Okay, there's something really important about it not being fitted. It needs to just hang, and it needs to not hang so long. It needs to hang sort of just like to your waist, a little bit lower, because it's giving you the breaking layering in the right way. This is how a lot of us do a jean, stripy top and skinny jean. It's about how do you tweak that uniform that you might have in your wardrobe to make it feel a little bit cooler. So the first thing I'd say, I'm doing it with black and white here. So I wouldn't normally do a red lip, but I'm just for the sake of it going to keep it on. These are both Zara. This is actually my favorite black jean. And if I look at that Systems of Humanity, which is 200 and God knows what, when I bought it, I prefer this because of a few things. It doesn't strangle my knees, so mm -hmm. I don't see the tightness around my knee of the jean, which I think if you have a jean like that, you should just dump. It's just not flattering. And it's cropped, but it's not going in that kick out so it doesn't break the length of my leg in the crop and it's frayed which means that there's a continuation of the length of the jean without it being a block and I kind of love that. Yeah. The first thing I might say is let's put on a little bit of a shoulder pad. I prefer personally instead of that sort of like neatness to have a little intentional break so I would take the t-shirt you know have that kind of little break. I just think it's nicer than just feels Mm -hmm. more relaxed. The shoulder pads have now made the jumper, which is the 1995 Zara one they did a few years ago, seem a more expensive jumper. Totally. Because it takes it out, Jemima, from, we all can look and go to everyone, the Zara jumper, because we look at the buttons and we look at, you know, those little gold buttons. But Zara, for one season, did these pearl buttons. And we're all trying to and find it. And we're all it. trying to find it, <laughs> it's a really good one. I mean, this is the best 1999 I spent. There's other ways you can make things feel fresh. So we could go, we're getting into winter, to how you do scarves. You can do the classic that you are at university. You know, and I think when oh, you yeah. do this, the important thing is perhaps to feel less university, it shouldn't be a stripe. You know, it, it, yeah. it could be just a stripe going another way, but it's just a way of doing it. And it gives a break you know at the front and you know a lot of people do do tie scars sometimes in a way it's very classic and it will just make everything else look classic and as soon as you do a jump uh, do a scarf and maybe you keep your hair in it i like that look i just think it adds something extra again to it yeah um so you know, i think I it's that. very wearable like lots of different women with different lifestyles can wear this and feel cool yeah and another thing to think about which i really like is to go this is one time that i like light over dark a lighter coat yeah. Perhaps just to feel that freshness with wearing the black because I don't wear black with colour. Oh, literally, I still love the red lip. I know you still love the red lip. Do you like it? It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's my skin's looking nice today, so it's not bad. But just the kind of coat you would put over it again, I'm in a wet, again in that very tailored coat. Yes. Yeah. You know, this is another thing when you're thinking about when you're not wanting to look like the school thing is to make sure if the scarf's really long so that it feels fashionable more than a school scarf. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, I, I think that does it for me. I don't know about you if you feel that. Do you have an issue with them being the same length? The other thing then you can do is you can make one right at your waistline. Okay, I go one extreme or the other. So yeah. one's right at your waistline and then you have that single thing there. But I normally do that when I have a very long coat on. I was looking for a long black coat. So yeah. with that, I'm going to look at the length of that. And it's going to be exactly the length of the coat. Do this and sort of fold it in and wear it so that you feel it's like oh. you've changed the coat. Like that could be the coat. That, that could be the coat. And it's quite specific. You can always tie something around twice. But I've done that in the past and I've actually put safety pins too. It's a really good, smart, casual look. Yeah. And then you can also... I mean, if we're just Where's the scarf from? Thing. The scarf is from the Saint Laurent, just a village, 90 quid. 
We are digressing here, but I also used to do this a lot and I haven't done it for a while, so I'm just seeing. I love this. Of having, you know, I kind of prefer when you take a coat where it's not thick, so thick the fabric. I, I wouldn't use a really thick belt, I'd use mm. a thin belt because it will allow the fabric to go in more because there's less distance to push in the fabric, so it's an easier fit. Scarves always get caught in my earrings and necklaces yeah. Yeah. when I'm wearing them. And that'll stop it flapping them. about with the belt. <laughs> so this look feels really smart, it's jeans. Yeah. Jeans and jumper, but it's about the accessorizing, putting on the coat. Now, these looks you can achieve on any budget. It's just how you're putting it together and thinking about it. <sighs> yeah, that. Last pair of jeans. Being a bit lazy, but I'm just going to put Swainy over Rossi. Because there's an orangey net. You can see the difference between the two that's Swainy on the bottom and Rossi on the cheek on the top. Love it with white. This is Maison Rab. And it just is my favourite shape of trouser for where I'm heading as a woman in a jean, which is that sort of pleated at the right place so that you don't feel that it kind of gives you unnecessary bulk because there's a nice narrowness around the waist. And the length is very good. Sometimes, even though I've got short legs on body, because I'm tall, I don't get that perfect length. And this mm. is like the perfect length where I wear my trainer and it hits to the floor. I'm wearing it with a shirt from him too, and there's a real purposefulness because it was in the same collection, and it was that thing of volume with volume, but the neatness of the shirt here, now that, that you know, it goes in here. I, I wonder, would I wear something slimmer here at the top? You mm. know, like more my cost thing, because this is a lot of volume on the top and a lot of volume on the bottom. Well, when you walked past, I saw the back of it, and it's beautiful. Yeah. That's such it's a cool really back. It's really beautiful, and I can kind of do that with it. It's all different things with it. Yeah. So You're right, they are strength. like tailored trousers in jean form. Yeah. And they, they're very heavy, thick fabric, but I don't feel they're bulky because from the side, they just go out in a nice way. You know, sometimes if things aren't sewn down enough here, they go out from here and then you just feel that, you just see the pleat. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. It's the jean of all jeans. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Molly loves the flare. Molly's in love with the flare. Right, before we all drip with sweat, shall we talk about next week's? I think it's good to look at trends. I think, think it's nice to have a look at them. You, still? you can like reflect back and see like, oh, what have you actually bought or not bought yeah, that okay. you're still thinking about. Yeah. When you said to wear tailored coats over jeans, yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, that's okay. What, what we need coat to, like, to wear with? with. Yes. yes. All right. Like the type of coat, maybe. Okay. So, what coat is best with what outfit? What were you going to say, Molly? Bags with the coats. We can do that a lot. And coats and bags coats and bags so that's definitely on this coats and bags but I think right now we have to end because I've got to go out to a black tie party tonight and I am dripping me too oh. not the black tie just the sweating <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much Molly thanks Jemima thanks, and thank you everyone for watching bye, bye.